Folks, some sellers in New York region just aren't getting it. I'll explain what I mean and then get into the latest home prices and insights for York region for week ending October 11th, 2023. So a couple of weeks back, I was talking about an area in, in Vaughan, a, a very specific neighborhood where I was showing my buyer clients some properties. These properties are all between $2 million and $3 million in range. And in one subdivision, one pocket, there was 13, 12 or 13 homes for sale. That was two weeks ago. Today, there are 18 properties in that same subdivision for sale. In that time, there's been one sold. Well, if we go back through history, the last, the last property was sold was one property sold October 1st. And there was another property previous to that in July that was sold. So most of July, August, September, no sales. Then we had another one in October. So it's, it's very, very slow going. And yet more properties are now for sale. And what I don't understand is how, how are they coming up with their prices? Well, I, I do know how they're coming up with their prices, but it's totally wrong. It's difficult for them to look at comparable sales because nothing is selling in that neighborhood. But they know what's not working. They could easily see all these other listings and many of the homes, they're fairly similar, you can say sometimes. Well, if you know what's not working, why would you come out onto the market and say, I'm going to list it what everyone else has it listed for? if you know it's not working and some of these homes have been on the market for several months they've canceled and relist <coughs> excuse me canceled and relisted canceled and relisted and they're just sitting there and a new seller it's like hey i'm gonna do the same thing why why would you do that now for sure the seller can do whatever they want it's the homeowner maybe they don't need to sell which I don't buy. Like, why would somebody go onto the market if they don't want to sell at the very least? Well, look, pricing your home correctly in this market is crucial. Otherwise, you're going to sit there. Buyers have choices today that they didn't have before. If, if you're a seller and you see people doing offer dips, sellers, doing an offer date and then it doesn't work and then they relist and you see this several times in your neighborhood well, why would you come out with an offer date and try the same thing that they tried chances are you're going to get the same results so if you go out at the same list price of everybody who's not selling you're going to get the same results you've got to be a little bit you know thinking ahead maybe there's no comparable so that's not a way to come up with price, but there's evidence of what's not working. Use that as a guide also to help you figure out where you should be priced at. And yes, sellers all have their own reasons for selling. Some do have financial strain. Some of these homes were purchased a year, year and a half ago, and they're already on the market. So we could maybe imagine that there could be some financial pressures there. Others maybe have a renewal coming up. And again, it's going to lead to some financial pressures. Others are looking to downsize. And I can see that by walking through the house. It's, it's fairly empty. I guess the kids have moved out because these are, are, are bigger square footage type homes. And the parents are looking to downsize all sorts of reasons. But if they're on the market, we just kind of got to assume they'd like to sell. But pricing is not making sense. You know what's not working? Maybe try something that maybe gives you a better chance at working. Because a price reduction is going to be in line at some point if you're looking to sell. Well, why go through all that trouble of being on the market for several months? Do it right the first time. Pick the right price the first time. If you feel this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. 
If you get value from what we're talking about, subscribe. And if you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. Below this video, in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you, and we'll talk about whatever's on your mind. Now, let's get into the numbers. The market is changing quickly in York Region. It's slowing down quickly. Properties are sitting there. Let's, let's just get right into it. These are average sold prices for detached properties only, for Vaughn, Richmond Hill, and Markham. And it looks a little bit messy, but prices are pretty close together the previous week. Prices are fairly close together now, week ending October 11th as well. Let's start off with, with Vaughn detached properties broken down by week for a whole year. 18 detached properties were sold. It's not a lot, 18, it's down from the previous week. Two of those were at $2 million or more, only two. That's for week ending October 11th. Average sold price has come way down from the previous week to 1,603,000. 1,603, 17% lower than where we were this time last year. The median price is 15% lower than where we were this time last year. Overall, average price has been coming down. 18 were sold, it's not a lot. 39% sold at list price or more. Listings, right out just past Labor Day, listings shot up and, and it seems that it's kind of stayed there. A little bit less now with 81 detached properties being sold. Active listings is growing. There's more and more properties available for sale. So sales volume has come down. Listings has kind of stayed the same. That means there's more and more properties sitting there unsold, but available for sale. That's what I mean about active listings. They're available for sale at the end of the period. Months of inventory sitting at 5.2. Why did I put a star there? Well, past five months of inventory. Now it's not an exact science, but past five months of inventory, we say is a, or north of five months of inventory, we say is a buyer's market. Between three months and five months is more of a balanced market. Well, we're now north of five months of inventory. We're sitting in a buyer's market. And that's kind of how the market feels in a lot of areas where the buyers kind of in charge. The buyers are sellers. They're sitting there hoping buyers come, but buyers have lots of choices these days. And, but also buyers have been hit by these high interest rates and it's tough for them, even if they wanted to spend more, they don't have the financing to spend more. So that puts a downward pressure on prices. Here's Richmond Hill, 10, only 10 detached properties were sold and only one of those was at $2 million or more. Average sold price way down, 1,621,000. 1621 is 10% lower than where we were this time last year. The median price of 1688 is 8% lower than where we were this time last year. Average prices across Richmond Hill have been coming down. 20% sold at list price or more. So out of the 10, just two properties sold at list price or more. Listings, a little bit all over the place, but up from where we were, you know, so you've got your August here, then we had Labor Day, so listings are up. Active listings, been increasing. Labor Day, we're at 241, now we're sitting at 293. It's not a lot, but it's increasing. So sales are down, active listings, there's more of them out there, more properties for sale. Months of inventory sitting at 6.8. I put a star, at 5.1 in Vaughn, I should have put two stars here at 6.8, very much a buyer's market when it comes to detached properties in, uh, in Richmond Hill. So here's Markham. I think Markham has adopted the philosophy of doing the opposite because everything I just said for Vaughn and Richmond Hill, 
It's not happening in Markham. It's kind of the other way. Sales seem to be increasing in Markham. So 25 detached properties were sold. Four of those were at $2 million or more. And that's been steady over the last uh, few weeks. Average sold price, it did come down over the, <coughs> excuse me, it did come down over the previous week, but just by a little, sitting at 1,748,000. 1748 is 7% lower than where we were this time last year. The median price is 4% lower. And it seems, and I, I'm looking at the dotted line, over the last two to three months or so, kind of seems that prices have been quite steady. You've got your peaks and valleys, but it seems it's been quite steady across Markham for the last two to three months. 52% sold at list price or more. <laughs> listings, like most areas, after Labor Day, listings went up. So lots of sellers had the hopes of the fall market really helping them. So listings went up. They've been declining since that one week they went up. Active listings has been increasing, but because sales are not dropping like the other neighborhoods and sales are going up, months of inventories has been coming down over the last few weeks. We're now sitting at 2.9 months of inventory. I would still say it's pretty much a balanced market across Markham. Nothing like Vaughn and Richmond Hill where we're sitting way up there with properties not moving, sitting there. There's so lots of areas in Markham where properties are sitting there. It's just a different atmosphere than it is in Vaughn and Richmond Hill. Here's condos. This is for all of Peel, oh, sorry, all of York region condo, condo apartments. 25 were sold. One of those was at $1 million or more. 25 is a big drop from where we've been over the last three or four weeks. Average sold price has come down. It was steady for a while and now dropped to 689,000. 689 is far below where we've been for months and months and months. Prices have been quite steady actually for condos, but 689 is, is much lower. 689 is 2% lower than where we were this time last year. The median price is the same as where we were this time last year. The Of the 25 that sold, 24% has sold at list price or more. That percentage is dropping. Listings, hey, they shot up two weeks in a row. Actually, they shot up after Labor Day, and now they've been coming down. But active listings has been growing, and months of inventory sitting at 64 very much a buyer's market. Here's a quick summary of all the months of inventory. You're either gonna be in a balanced market or a buyer's market, depending on where you're looking at in York region, between Vaughn, Richmond Hill, and Markham, either balanced or a buyer's. And for those properties that have multiple offers, because there's some of them that still that's the case, the properties are really, really special, and the price has been really aggressive. Other than that, it's a normal market. It's either balanced or a buyer's market where the buyers really have more of the say. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.